All right, I'm back. Yep, um, I'm making it up for last week. So, last night I filmed a video for the movie Snake Eyes, the, the action figure. You know, I don't know anything about that character, so it was like a quick video for me. Because I didn't know anything about. Now, here's a character that I know about and love. And there he goes. It is the Mafex, or the bootleg Mafex Venom. And, oh man. <laughs> man, is this a really good figure. It, it is a, it is a really, really good figure, man. And, once I took it out the box, there was nothing wrong with it. Like, literally nothing wrong with it at all. Like, no joints were loose. No joints were too tight. Like, everything was really well. The only main problems were, were like, you know, the head, like, kind of hard to put on. And then the hands kind of getting stuck. But, you know, that also comes with, like, the regular... That's just a regular thing for action figures. Like... Oh no, a head's um, too tight for the, too tight to put on, or like, too, you, you know, like, you kind of struggle at first, because these weren't on in the package with everything, so, you know. Sorry, I'm over here fixing hands right now, I'm, like, just sweating up because I didn't do it. But anyways, so once this came out the package, it was it was really well. I I loved it. It's it was kind of like the comic book Deadpool, but even the comic book bootleg Deadpool had some problems. Like some parts were loose, some parts were a little tight, and it got loose pretty fast, and some paint came off. Now this one I have had for a while now. Okay, not a while, more like three days, and it's still really. It's no good. Like, it hasn't gotten loose or anything, so. Whoever made this bootleg either really paid attention to the Mafex quality, Mafex, whatever you want to call that company, either really paying attention or love Venom, or they, they, did, they didn't mean to do this on purpose. But overall, this is probably, like, the most perfect bootleg I got. Um, I don't know how it scales. I don't know if it scales well. And... Man, it's just really good. It was kind of like the comic book Spider-Man that I had, which I repainted, so I'm going to get another one. I don't know when. But anyways, yeah, that's just the story of, like, first day I got it, How how is it? How's it doing? It's really doing well. Alright, um, I don't know what really to talk about. Because <laughs> I kind of forgot how to make videos. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot how to make fucking videos. But, let's go on with the design. So, the lines are actually pretty well painted. The eyes, there is like some spots that seem like they need a little bit more paint, but it doesn't bother me that much because from afar you can't really see all the paint that's, all the little dots that are there. The um, hands are really well sculpted, nothing's wrong with them, even the white, nothing much is wrong with them, there's a few little spots. But the main problem is mostly Eddie Brock's head, but of course, you know, heads on bootlegs doesn't, doesn't really get painted well, unless you have, like, a mask on, so, like, the mouth is not that hard to paint. Here, let me show uh, bootleg Superman. Oh, his face. So I have the angry head sculpt on, and as you can tell... Yeah, it's not sculpted well, it's painted awful, it's it's not a really good head sculpt. But that's also going for real, this is his comic, it's going to be the comic version of Eddie, so, I'm going to be honest, the uh, face isn't that bad, it's just the pain in the eyes is mostly, mostly the problem, but overall it's actually not a bad head sculpt. Now, scale, it is pretty, it is smaller than like a Marvel Legends. And maybe smaller than the actual Mafex one. But it's not too bad. It probably goes well with Toy Biz. Or it's certain Toy Biz. Like, here's the Toy Biz Daredevil. This is a smaller version. Or, like, it's a smaller 
type figure than the modern Hasbro one. All right, um, let's go into articulation. Oh shit, <laughs> everything's going down. All right, so of course, just like Mafex, it has a it has a dumbbell joint, and you can turn this around anyway. So like, you want to have more up, you just turn that around. And my camera's not focusing. Not camera, but like phone. You can get more up, even down. Although there is a slight problem right here at the neck. It's kind of too much plastic, but like you can still get pretty good down. And then tilt, which is really well. And then another tilt. And then the butterfly joints. And then drop down right here so you can get his arms all the way, at, or that far up. And even with this, it, it gets that much up, so it's not really that much of a difference. There's a biceps wool, double joint elbows. And then this joint right here where you can have them doing this, if it'll focus, you know, just like that. Turn it around, goes up, down. And then he has a dumbbell joint right here in the mid, in the in this section. And with just that alone, you get this much crunch, which isn't it that much. But back goes that far back, but with the ball joint down here, he crunches this much, which is really, really good. And then this far back, which is also good in case you want to do some like him dodging, because then you can be like that while looking at his opponent. He has a drop down hip right here, and then a thigh swivel right here, double joint knees. Ankle pivot up, I mean, down, up, and then toe joint right here. I'm sorry if it's not focusing, I'm not really looking, I'm more looking at the action figure. So, this is my fault. Overall, like, probably more than 20 points of articulation. Also, you can get him to hug himself if you want him to do that, you know. You, you know, Venom can love himself too. Or you can get that Wakanda forever. So yeah, really well articulation, everything is, everything is well, like nothing's tight or loose still, everything's doing well, let's see if I can stand them up though, I do have trouble standing them up, well, on here because I'm filming on my bed, now let's go into accessories, um, I kind of forgot some things so bear with me. Oh wait, never mind. I have them. So again, here's the Eddie Brock head. It's okay painted, I guess. Feel focus. Yeah, it's okay painted. It's not bad. He comes with an alternative Venom head, which is just him smiling. Now, if you watch the Unparalleled Universe Universe review about the actual Mafex Venom, he said he wished the other head came with like. A tongue sticking out because you know Venom usually has a tongue sticking out and with like some green ooze but like he also said he didn't mind that and I, I don't I don't really like that to be honest but you know it's more alien like I guess and then he comes with these hands with magnets in them if he'll focus yep so magnet magnet magnetic hands but he also comes with th those without magnets because you know some dioramas don't have like it isn't metal they're not made out of metal all the time so if you just want to put a box sideways and they can seem like he's wall crawling or like just hanging there you can use these hands and then okay and then he comes with magnetic feet which I don't really want to keep on. It kind of bothers me that I keep these on, but like just leave those there. I don't know. It just bothers me. Um, he comes with trigger finger hands as well, which I don't understand. Like on Rebel Tech Wolverine, and he falls again. But that's my fault because I'm bumping into the box. Hang on, let it focus. Yeah, he comes with trigger. Oh wait, no, these aren't the trigger finger hands. These are the web grabbing hands. My bad. Oh wait, no, this is a trigger finger hand. This is a web grabbing hand. 
you know, there's a pair of those, but I just got them split up. And then he comes with fists. And I don't really use any of the other hands besides the magnetic hands. So I use the fist, claw hands, and the magnetic hands with the magnetic feet because, you know, those are like the main things he really uses half the time. Hang on, I dropped something. Let me stand Venom back up. Alright. So he comes with like four webs, but like, you know, they're mostly the same besides like these two. These, there's a pair of these webs, which I don't really know how to put these on because they confuse me a lot, so I don't really use these. And then he comes to these other webs that like, you know, since he doesn't need like web shooters or anything, he just goes like this, he makes a fist, bends his thing, and then webs come out, or sometimes like this, I don't know, it kind of depends. And I like these. I, <laughs> uh, I can't really use them for anything else unless I get a symbiote Spider-Man, but like, these are really good. I like them. And that's it for like, accessories. I guess I can do scale, since I have like, a pretty good amount of time left. Although I still need to get my clothes out the dryer. And I still need sleep because I have school in the morning. But, you know, I don't really like school. It's really boring to me. But, yeah. Okay. Let me just raise this up real quick. And he, as he falls over. Just raise up, please. Alright. So just stand him up real quick. All right, here's a uh, here's the Hasbro movie Snake Eyes, and as you can tell, Hasbro always scales a little bit more than six inch. Now I don't know if this is like true six inch Venom, like the Mafex one, but or like the actual Mafex one, but you you know. And then here's a Marvel Legends Gambit, which I will review next week or this week. Does he scale well with Marvel Legends? No, I will say no. But it's a good figure if you want that figure. Now here's the uh, bootleg SH Figure Arts sp um, Stealth Suit Spider-Man from Far From Home. Um, he's kind of crunched forward. And I think he scales well with SH Figure Arts in my opinion. Now yeah, that's not the actual SH Figure Arts, but like, you know. Here's Old Man Hawkeye from the Old Man Logan 2-pack. And then... Here's the Marvel Legends Deluxe, or whatever they call it. <laughs> God, it's hard to get them. But they don't... This is a different type of Venom. This is like the 90s Venom first appearance, you know. All that goodness. So yeah, this is a big figure. Not the biggest one I have, but like, you know. And to get off like Marvel stuff, here's the NECA King Kong. He's not standing up all the way, but he's he's bigger than this Venom. We already know that. And final one, here's Webman. And I, well, I like this Webman, I really do. I think I might dig down into a little bit of Webman. And that's pretty much it for this review. I mean, I love Venom. He he is one of the best Spider-Man villains. He definitely needs a new Marvel Legends figure and body. I mean, the body they put on him kind of fucking sucks. I mean, the new one, you know, the Omega Red body, that's, that's a pretty good body. But they left the fucking holes, which I think that was like the stupidest move ever. Like, why the hell would you do that? Why would you do that, Hasbro? You know Venom is like top five. But you fucking leave shit on an important character that will actually sell for once. Like shit. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Venom, good villain. Not as good as 
Joker, in my opinion. Um, I was never really a big fan of Green Goblin, but, like, William Dafoe's performance kind of changed my mind, but, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he'll... I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm saying now. Overall, this figure's great. I love it. Would I recommend it? Maybe. It's still on Amazon. It's a good, it's a good figure. It, it costs a, it costs like some probably forty bucks. I'm because you know it's a bootleg and it, it replicates like Mafex. But I don't know if I want to recommend it because like I said, for the SA Tree or bootleg Spider Man, not all bootlegs are the same. Now I'm gonna end this video right here because I gotta get my clothes. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Hope y'all are doing well and hope your life is going really good so far. If not, hopefully it gets better. Hopefully you have nice dreams. Have a good day. Have a good evening. And just be positive. Because, you know, you don't know what people are going through. And, you know, you're probably going through many things. But you, you get it. Just be positive. Alright, peace.